fucking game to me, to say the least. But on the fantasy aspect, we had the Seattle Seahawks take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Germany. Give me a player to start and a player to bench out of this matchup. Jawohl, football! Because <laughs> we are in Munich. Yeah. I mean, that's about the extent of my... That's about the extent of my German too. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not very deep. So uh, in that game, you know, I'm going to tell you start Geno Smith. Geno Smith has proven himself to kind of be a, a, a quarterback that should be in your lineup now. I mean, we're what week 10 now. Yep. And <laughs> he just has not fallen off. If you listen, I think a few weeks ago, did I say he was going to fall off? I believe, I do so. believe I said yeah. he'd fall off a cliff and he just keeps going. Um, the, the Tampa Bay defense is not what it was last year or even the year before that. They're not the vaunted defense that they were. Um, there's a lot of holes on that defense. And I mean, when you give up 21 to Carolina, when and lose, <laughs> you know, there, there's some, there's some issues going on there. Right. Um, it took a last second miracle last week for them to even beat the, beat the Rams. Um, I'm not going to say that the refs didn't help that one at all, but you know, <laughs> different story, different day. Right. Uh, but yeah, I would take, I would take Geno Smith just because again, he still has Lockett. He still has DK Metcalf. Will Disley has been quietly extremely good. And because I talked smack on Noah Fant last week, guess what? Noah Fant came out and had a good game last week because right. I was all running my mouth about him. <laughs> and then, you know, it's, and then you got Kenneth Walker the second that has kind of stabilized that backfield. Like, you know, the, the Seahawks are a sneaky good team. So um, I would tell you start Geno Smith um, uh, on the flip side. I don't think you can trust any of the uh, the Tampa Bay running backs right now. Touchdown Lenny has not been touching anything. Right. You know, <laughs> Touchdown Lenny has been not not a good running back for anybody. Rashad White's not the answer. I've seen a lot of people picking up Rashad White in a lot of leagues thinking that he's going to start cutting into those carries for Lenny, but he's not. He, it's it's they are just not a good run the ball team right now and heck Let's just say their whole offense isn't their their offensive line is is in shambles right now, right. and that's not going to bode well for your points. They they're averaging what I think they're averaging like thirteen points a game or fourteen points a game that the Buccaneers are, and again that's like how Green Bay is this year you know, in offense that's normally extremely potent. Um, I would say Tampa Bay should be a little bit more potent with the wide receivers they got there too, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's it's just not it's not a good start right now. It's not a good gamble to start any of the Tampa Bay running backs at this point. Yeah, and also on the flip side of the coin, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have the worst rushing attack in all of the NFL. So definitely jump on that board 100%. Don't start anybody uh, in the backfield for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I for checking out that man hour clip. If you're interested in the next video, click the link right here. Of course, subscribe right here and always join us Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. East Coast time right here where you're watching this clip. And as always, Man Hour Nation, rise up.